You've got to be kidding me. Dude, you've got... Oh my god. This video is sponsored by Native Sons Goods, makers of the highest quality woven guitar, bag, and camera straps you'll ever see. Native Sons straps are handmade one at a time in the USA with unparalleled love and care. Click the link in the description to check out their new expanded lineup featuring all new 3-inch guitar straps. And remember, when you support my sponsor, you support this channel, and I sure appreciate it. Hey dudes, it's Brad the Guitologist. I just filmed a an entire Shit Post Friday episode. I got to the point where I was opening a box that was a piece of viewer mail. I just decided I have to do something besides just make this a regular viewer mail segment. So I'm gonna do a whole video about just this box and what's in it. Check this out. Okay guys, we're gonna open some viewer mail here now. I got this box, this uh, mysterious thing. I have no clue what this is. Somebody contacted me the other day and asked me if they could send me something and uh, here it is. I have no clue what it is. It's from, this is from Dennis Ponzio of Zio Guitars. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Z-I-O Guitars. So we'll open this up and see what this is. Again, I have an, a I haven't even the faintest clue what this could be. So let's check it out. I'm gonna cut you. All right, I'll try not to slice my wrists open here while I'm opening this thing. This is actually pretty good timing uh, because I needed a box to ship a, an acoustic guitar to somebody. And I think this thing is probably gonna be big enough where none of the other boxes that I have uh, were big enough. I don't know what this could be. Uh, it's in a guitar box, but it's real heavy, so I don't think it's a guitar. Holy sh I don't know, dude. Maybe this is a guitar. I didn't order anything. I didn't ask anybody to send me anything. This guy, the guy just contacted me and said, hey, I want to send you something. He didn't really specify what it was, so... Kind of like, okay. It does look like a guitar case. I think it's a guitar case. And it feels pretty heavy, so something, something must be in it. Fort Knox. <laughs> In fact, I think I might even have an easier time getting into Fort Knox. <laughs> I got into that. It also doesn't help if you're if you're trying to uh, sort of preserve the packaging too, because I can reuse the packaging. Zio or Zio guitars. Dennis Ponzio. Dennis. Yeah, man. I I don't know if I've spoken to you before, Dennis. Before you emailed me the other day, I don't know if we have. Uh, I can't recall if we've spoken before or not. Um, and sorry if we have, I just, just don't remember. But yeah, definitely a guitar case. And let's see, it's a Guardian case, nice case. But it's got something in it. Let's see what we got here. How am I going to do this where I can reveal it? Okay, let's see. Yeah, this, it is a guitar. Let's see what the note says first. Uh, hey Brad, I'm a weekend guitar builder who is planning on retiring from my day job soon and uh, increase my guitar production. So I thought I would send you some goodies in the hopes to get a little plug on your channel and perhaps drum up some business. Cool, I hope it works for you. Uh, last November you featured the new Meteora on a Shitpost Friday episode and seemed to be quite enamored by it. So I thought I would take a shot at building one and send it. Are you serious? Really? It was a bit challenging since I only had pictures to go by, but I think it looks pretty cool and I hope you think so too. Don't forget to look inside the case for additional goodies. I really enjoy your channel. Uh, and we'll look forward to a future Ship Post Friday episodes and maybe seeing you play your new Meteora copy. Dennis Ponzio, Zio Guitars, Anaheim, California. Amazing. 
he's got the guitar specs here. I'm gonna wait. I'll look at the guitar first, and then we'll take a look at the specs. You've got to be kidding me, dude! You've got to be. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, are you serious? What? Holy crap, Dennis. Dennis. Oh my god, Dennis. Oh, Dennis. Dude. Dude. Wow. Wow. This thing is gorgeous. Oh, Dennis, man, this is just gorgeous. Oh, dude, you even customized the case. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you are joking me, Dennis. Dennis, holy crap. Oh, man. Oh, Dennis, this is just too much. Oh, man. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Dude, that's impeccable. This this neck looks freaking impeccable, Dennis. Oh my god. I just oh man, I'm I am just over the moon. <laughs> I love the color. I love everything about it. This is absolutely beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh my god. So you just went by pictures to get that body shape? You just went by pictures? That's fantastic. Man, I, I really, Dennis, I hope you made some kind of, um, I hope you made some kind of pictorial, you know, history of your build here, man. And if you did, or if a video or whatever, uh, please share it with me, man, because I would love to, I would love to share some clips of that uh, with the audience, you know, in various stages of, of the build. Oh my gosh, this, this thing is Gorgeous. I mean, you could see the quality. Look at the quality of the finish. All of it. That's beautiful. Oh, man. I just, I can't get over it. Ah. Uh, this is just too much. This is too much. Oh, I've got to play it. But I, I want to read the specs. Uh, before I start getting into playing it, I want to read the specs. Um. Wow. I can't even breathe, man. I've lost my breath. <laughs> this is just amazing. Uh, guitar specs. Uh, Two-piece maple body. A, a one-piece maple neck with a skunk stripe. Yep. That two-piece... Man, that's a two-piece body. Jeez. Oh, man. And a one-piece... Yeah, that is a one-piece neck. With a, with a maple fretboard black block inlays just gorgeous man i bet that's that looks like a that looks like a bone nut it is a bone nut oh man two-way adjustable truss rod oh yeah the tuners are real a real nice touch Oh man, I'm just I'm over the moon. I can't I can't even breathe. American Professional uh, Telly Bridge, yeah, beautiful. I love the barrel saddles, man, with the brass. Oh, dude. Internal copper shielding of all electronics. That's a, that's great. Eco friendly water based finishes. The color is summer squash. This thing, I'll tell you what, this this uh this paperwork is staying with this guitar uh Dennis and I will I will treasure this 
I will treasure this guitar, brother. I man, I can't thank you enough. I uh, I don't even know what to say. I, I'm I'm over the moon. This is just unbelievable to me. I cannot believe that you you made a meteora. You built a meteora, dude. That's so freaking cool. And just because I'm just because I mentioned it in a shit post Friday, you did this for me. That is, I can't even believe it. I usually don't follow uh, along whenever they do the whole, you know, we're revealing a new model or whatever. But I thought this was a particularly cool looking guitar and this is something I could see myself buying. Definitely one of the more interesting things they've come out with in quite a while. Whoa. I, I'm just, I'm gobsmacked. You know, I've had people send me some beautiful things before. I've had I've had um, people send me some things that they made, you know. Um, people have sent me some things that were very valuable, you know, before. Um, I had a guy, you know, send me some artwork. You know, that was on a shit post Friday. Uh, that same guy that made that art piece right there uh, also made me a really nice leather strap, which I will keep with this guitar now. You know, but it's just amazing to me, man. Just um, the the just the super thoughtful people that are out there that do this sort of thing. And you you guys are, I have the best audience, man. I really do. Some some days I start feeling down too. I'll, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, I start getting a bit disillusioned uh, with, and I kind of start wondering, you know, what am I doing? You know, am I should I keep doing this? Should I try to find some other career path besides? following this dream that I have to try to stay relevant in music somehow, you know. It's like when I obviously didn't have quite the talent, I, I wasn't going to be a world-class guitarist, so, you know, obviously I have to find other things to do to try to stay close to music, you know. And uh, I just, I chose to do this, to make videos, and, you know, trying to form a community around this, and, like I said, try to stay relevant. Sometimes I just question that I question what I'm doing but then on days like this man on days like this it just makes it feel like people care and it's kind of worth it and yeah, I don't know and I don't know maybe I've touched somebody else you know doing this so it's just I, I just can't say enough um, things about it. I think <laughs> I might even be getting a little emotional here I cannot believe it um, Dennis, uh, this is just freaking awesome. You said to check in here to see what there is, so let's see what else we have. Man. Oh. Is that a Native Sun strap? Did you send me a Native Sun strap? What? No way. Did you really? Dude, you didn't. You didn't. What the heck? What in the hell? Hang on, I gotta put this down. You didn't send me a... You really... Really, Dennis? Did you really do this? You sent me a Native Sun strap also? Or even if it's... It's definitely an A strap. It's a Native... You sent me a Native Sun strap from... <laughs> what are you... Dude. Seriously? That's wonderful. I... I I don't even know what... I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Uh, what? Uh, okay, as as if the guitar wasn't enough, you send me a Native Sons good strap. Hang on. It looks like you picked something out that was going to go with the guitar. You know, obviously, I love my Native Sons good straps. I, and this is one of their, their new 3-inch ones as well. That is just unbelievable. That is un That is freaking unbelievable. Dennis, you got the one. You got hemp backing. You sent me a Native Sons good strap. <laughs> what are you thinking, man? What are you thinking, man? You must. You must really like my channel, <laughs> dude. You're amazing. I, I don't even know what to say to this. This is just fantastic. I the the strap, the guitar. Look at this. Look at that. Heck yeah, man. That is swanky. I love the shit out of that. Oh my god. <laughs> you, you are kidding me, man. 
You're just, you're kidding me, dude. This is nuts. This is just nuts. What is this? Oh, you even got me desiccant packs. <laughs> Are you in California? You're in California, right? Yeah. Yeah, I saw the Anaheim. Oh, my gosh. You had to ship it all this way as well. Just the shipping alone, man, on that box. Dude. Yeah. What do we have? Oh, this is the bridge cover. That's cool. That's the bridge cover for it. That's like a half bridge cover, so it just covers the um, uh, the saddle, so it makes it a little more comfortable. So it doesn't. You can still pick, but it just covers the saddle, so you can rest your hand, and you know you don't kind of get those little hand indentations. I've never seen one of those, and that's a great idea, because you know the the old style Telly ashtray covers for these are just they cover the whole damn thing, and a lot of people hate those. Um, you know, I can I can kind of pick around them just because of the way I pick, uh, you know, with my fingers and stuff. I usually pick up kind of in here anyway most of the time. But, you know, if you want to get that really twangy sound and pick back here, you can't have that ash uh, that ashtray cover. But this is a partial ashtray cover. I, yeah, you guys are probably thinking, well, you know, you're, you're no guitologist. You've never seen one of those. But no, I haven't. I've never seen one of these. This is like a, this is like a partial ashtray cover cover for a Tele bridge. I've just never seen one before. How's it go? How's it go on? Was it just pop on? Yeah. Okay, so right? Is that right? Yeah, so it just kind of covers the back edge uh, of everything for you. So, you know, you can still you can still rock out back here, but it's not going to hurt your hand, you know, because cause sometimes you pick a little bit hard and it, it you kind of dig into this stuff back here and it you know it can wear on your can wear on your palm a little bit that's cool and you got locking uh, there's the locking straps the keys for the case man i just like i said man I, you're i'm gonna get emotional um this is just too much i'm overwhelmed i need to pause this video and collect my thoughts uh but Dennis, man, thank you so so much. Uh, I'm gonna plug this in. Obviously, I'm also I'm also gonna use this in future videos uh, where I do demos and things. And I definitely wanna uh, try this thing out. I'll probably pick, I'll I'll pluck a few notes here and check it out. But uh, holy crap, I just I'm over the moon. I already know what this thing is gonna sound like. I could feel the the quality of it just picking it up and the weight of it and just the bit. I'm telling you, man, I'm not even saying this just because this is a gift. Um, this is a very high quality guitar. It's a very high quality boutique guitar from one of my viewers. And I'm just over the moon. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I'm, I've got to go show my wife. Okay, guys, I know you probably wanted to really hear a clip of this thing, but I kind of ran out of time and wanted to get this video up as quickly as I could. But I will definitely play a little bit on this thing, uh, probably on the Shit Post Friday this Friday. Um, and I'm also going to use this thing quite a lot going forward in all my demos. So you will, you will see and hear this guitar, I'm sure, quite a lot on this channel, especially if you subscribe down below. I want to thank uh, Dennis Ponzio for this extraordinary gift, and I really hope this uh, helps you drum up some businessman, and uh, yeah, just a beautiful guitar. Thank you very much, sir. I can't thank you enough. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Hit the bell to receive all notifications, and for now, y'all take care.